Hello fellow preppers, tis I the rumpled one. Well, I've been thinking, looks like the revolution has been cancelled. No, I'm not making a joke. Let me tell you the reason why. When, you know, the founding fathers fought against the king, the people here were united. It was us against the king. Well, you know, those in charge, the puppet masters, they have the people here in the United States of America divided. It's really the divided states of America. I mean, we've got Republicans and Democrats, you know. They have us fighting amongst ourselves. I've already done a video or two on all the divisive issues. They constantly keep the people fighting amongst themselves so they can't unite. We can't even agree on taxes. That they're too much. I mean, it just almost always amazes me when I go to the store in certain areas where, you know, there's 8, 9, 10% tax. I mean, think about it. You buy something for $10, $11, and then, you know, they want to tax you. That's a whole buck. Now, of course, you know, a buck will get you, what, a quarter gallon of gasoline, which isn't a laughing matter. But the point is, is that they're just, they just take that money from us, and we don't do anything about it. Like I said, the revolution's been canceled. You see, you, we just can't get enough people together to take on the government. It, it, it Basically, in a way, maybe they've won. No, I'm not giving up. I mean, I'd much rather have liberty or death than to be a slave. But the reality is, is that I've always been a slave. Maybe not like my great-grandfather on the plantation, but for every dollar I make, I've got to give some to the master. they got a gun to my head. What happens if you don't pay taxes? <laughs> they put you behind bars. They send, you know, basically the stormtroopers in. I think they call them the IRS agents. Same difference. You don't pay your property tax. Sheriff comes in with shotguns and deputies. They take your property away from it, from you. So, look at where we're at, people. Look at where we're at. Bottom line is, the revolution's been canceled. I think back in the hippie days, there was even a song about that. But, you know, I'm kind of chuckling and smiling, but the fact of the matter is, this is serious. I mean, there might come a come the time when we're going to have to take up arms against the government, but I don't see anything in the near future that can mobilize and unite the people where it's us against the, what is it, 545 people in Washington, D.C. You know, we got the House, the Senate, the President, and the Supreme Court that are basically enslaving us through their laws, executive orders, whether or not they're constitutional doesn't matter. How, you know, we the people are allowing them to get away with unconstitutional acts on a daily basis. But there's no revolt, there's no revolution. Revolution's been canceled. So, I don't like to be the bearer of bad news or doom and gloom or any of that stuff. I just like to present facts, hopefully spread the truth, so people can then decide for themselves what action they want to take. Now, you know, there's people prepping, but, you know, eventually you could get overrun maybe by the, uh, the, the zombies out there, you know, the two-legged vermin, or our own government. But it just looks like uh, unless something drastic happens, that, you know, there is a, an awakening of the people and they just go, wait a minute, you know, it's not really the rich against the poor, it's the rich and the poor against the government. You see, the government is the problem, it's not the solution. We the people are the solution. And I think it was Einstein that said, uh, I guess I'm paraphrasing, but, you know, it's not that 
evil people doing evil is going to bring about the destruction. It's about good people doing nothing. They sit by idly and watch these evil people. That's the problem. So it's up to each one of us to decide if and when it's time to take action. You have to do it ahead of time. Because if you fail to prepare today, you are failing to prepare or preparing to fail tomorrow.